In this access lesson, I want to talk about how to create your own form for a table. Uh, we've learned how to create our own table and design our own table. And once you've got one, you want to be able to uh, use form view, especially if you're um, if you want people to enter or work on one record at a time, which in the most cases you're going to want to have that option. So from any table, it's actually very simple to do. It, you can make it very difficult if you wanted to and have total control. So we'll explore a little bit of both. So we can go to create here and I have this table employees table open and I can simply ask for a form. So I just clicked on form and it is generating that easily a form for this table. Quick, easy, simple. Everything is in a proper order. Yeah. If you want to change the order, so right now when people hit tab, they'll go from one to another quite easily and quite quickly in order to do some editing. If you're not happy with the order of things, you can go to design view here and change the tab order if you wanted to. I don't know that you'd want to very often, but you could. Now, I'm going to go back to the view that your employees would see, or wherever it was doing the data entry would see, and that would be this here. So, if you don't like this particular form, you don't have to save it. So, I would just close this form, and I would hit, no, I don't want to save that, and it's gone, all right? Um, most of the times when I've used the form, I've simply created it that way. But you can you can ask for different ways. So you can go to form design here and ask for a new form. And from here, I would want to see you know which fields I have to choose from. So you'd have to hit this right here. And then from this table, I would simply click and drag whatever fields I want. Now, this gives you a lot more control over what and how and the colors and the fonts because you can edit anything in here right now just be careful that one of these is the label and one of these is the actual link to your table you can change the the way your label looks if you want but you cannot put any spaces in here because that won't link you to your form anymore it'll link to a field that doesn't exist so just be careful when you if you're renaming the things on this side so now you'll be able to drag in whatever fields that you want now for the purpose of this course we're not going to get that far in depth, but I just wanted you to know that you can build your form from scratch if you wanted to. I'm not going to save that one either, so I'm just going to close that one. And no, I don't want to save that. So again, from table employees, I can go back to create, and I can ask for a blank form as well. And now I have a blank form, and again, I can bring these things in, and these are kind of lining themselves up in a, in a bit of a nicer way and it's creating a form pretty similar to the one that it built for us, right? So I'm just dragging these in and it's building the form. And again, if I wanted to change the order of these things, I could. So I have a lot of control over what it is I want to do. And if I want to change the fonts or the colors, don't do it from this view. Go into design view here. And again, do not mess with these names. You can change the fonts if you want, but don't change the names. If you want this to have a nice little space, then you can, because that's just the label. All right, so that wouldn't be a problem. So when you go back into design, you know, data sheet view or form view, where people do the typing, your, your label has a little space, but you're still linked to the actual name of this field. So, again, I'm not going to save this one either. I just want to reiterate, base, this is a real basic, simple, easy lesson. We don't have to go too far with this. You have a table. You like the table. You want a form. Go to Create. I would either choose Form or Blank Form. Those are my two favorites. Uh, but Form is fine by me. And if you don't like something about the form that it creates for you, you can go back into Design View here and make some changes. And a lot of this is very much like the arrange into the front, into the back, all those things that you might have learned to Microsoft Word. You have a lot of these things at your disposal. 
as far as aligning things to one another, aligning and sizing and spacing. So you can spend an awful lot of time making this form look exactly the way you want, or you can simply live with the one that they gave you, which oftentimes looks, looks pretty good. And just understand you have different views. So this is where they would actually do the data entry. So that's how you build and design and maybe edit and change a form in Access.